Sundar Pichai is best known to be the chief executive officer of Google after Larry Page, who co-founded Google. He serves on the Alphabet Board of Directors in addition to his role as CEO of Google and Alphabet. In his tenure as CEO, Google has prioritized the creation of AI-enabled products and features that can be used in both everyday and extraordinary situations. Amongst his many successes, he is most notable for releasing Google Chrome, which proved his resilience. Being the CEO of a big company definitely puts figures in your bank account. He has a net worth income of 1,310 million US dollars. And with this net worth, what do you think his everyday life is like? For today's video, we'll be diving into the life of Sundar Pachai. Welcome to Socialux. Our goal is to provide you with a dose of luxury, travel, houses, cars, and stories of successful people so you can be inspired to live an abundant, beautiful, and successful life. We upload videos weekly. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and feel free to comment any questions you may have down below. Enjoy! Morning Routines Between 6.30 and 7 o'clock in the morning, Sundar wakes. This is not as early as Jeff Bezos and Tim Cook who get up at 5 a.m. and 3.45 a.m. respectively, but it is close to Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg's 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. respective wake-up times. Sundar Pachai's 7 a.m. wake-up time is reasonable and typical when compared to Tim Cook's. The fact that the CEO of Alphabet, the organization that is meant to usher in the paperless era, reads his morning news from a newspaper. Yes, Mr. Sundar picks up a printed copy of the Daily Wall Street Journal to get up on the latest business news. He does, however, also access the online version of the New York Times. He then eats breakfast, which is typically an omelette. Although it might seem very elementary or uninteresting, the natural combination of nutrients, including iron, tryptophan, vitamin B12, and choline, all reduce anxiety, stress, and depression, while also promoting sleep, not to mention that it aids in weight control. Therefore, it is not surprising that Sundar has a healthy, lean body and is in a good frame of mind to lead one of the most significant business in human history. He continues by saying that he prefers to continue his traditional English morning cup of tea ritual. The British colonization of India led to this English practice. But Chai doesn't work out in the morning because, in his own words, I'm not a morning person, so I need my time with my paper and tea to wake up and kind of get going. Instead, he chooses a comfortable but polished attire that has been compared to the Banana Republic dad. Meetings Sundar Pachai is always willing to attend meetings that are required. In contrast to Elon Musk, who has stringent constraints on his meeting schedule, and Jeff Bezos, who prefers to conduct his meetings only in the morning, in fact, when he can, he frequently attends meetings while on the move. It is reported that if a problem that has to be resolved arises during a meeting, he may leave the room and return shortly with a potential solution for the team to consider. This is due to Sundar's assertion that he enjoys pausing when working on anything. Saying, I love to pace and to actually think I have to start walking. It appears that he has a tendency of remaining silent during meetings and listening while everyone speaks. He then offers suggestions for projects that individuals could work on after the remarks. Between work and personal interaction. Sundar Pichai's meeting approach, in which he listens before speaking, is simply a mirror of his charismatic leadership style. The technical program manager for the Sundar-run Android department, an ex-Google employee, was quoted saying, If there's anybody that could take over as CEO one day, I would see Sundar as being a great choice for doing that. 
that occurred in 2014, less than a year before Sundar Pichai was formally named Google CEO. When comparing Sundar to the prior CEOs, the ex-Google employee said, Larry is not afraid of setting an audacious goal, whereas I think Sundar is more of a great operator. He can assemble the team, he can appoint the right people, and he's the one that makes it happen. That's not to say that Sundar doesn't have any product vision. Current projects And just by thinking back to some of the new features that were mentioned during Google's I.O. event in May 2021, we can conclude that Sundar does have a product vision. This includes enhancing the functionality of Google's search bar and their research and development efforts in areas like Lambda AI and Google's quantum computer, Sycamore. Lambda AI, which stands for Language Model for Dialogue Applications, is based on the cutting-edge transformation neural network for language processing. Deep Learning AI enables more natural, authentic, and meaningful interaction with technology. Additionally, you can mimic discussions with objects and people that are not actually there. For instance, you could just ask Sundar Pichai on your device how he spends his day if you wanted to know. You might even pretend to have a conversation with a paper airplane or ask Pluto to defend its status as a planet. With Google Sycamore, a brand new method of data processing that isn't familiar to our present computers is introduced. Google just gained quantum dominance by running calculations on its Sycamore quantum computer. But Sundar and the group are consistently trying to create an error-corrected quantum computer with enough quantum bits to outperform the universe's processing capacity. Theoretically, we could resolve intricate issues with security, finance, and drug use, place of business, and lunch. It has been said that Sundar's office is so pristine that it borders on being Spartan. This is crucial since it gets rid of clutter, which lowers the number of distractions you might encounter. It's somewhat comparable to Mark Zuckerberg's decision to go to work every day in simply a gray t-shirt, jeans, and sneakers. Mark claims that having fewer options to make allows him to concentrate on the most crucial ones. And it is clear that both Mark and Sundar benefit from it. Sundar is a vegetarian. Evening routine. Sundar leaves his workplace and goes directly home. He also makes it a point not to bring work home, unlike many of the richest CEOs in the world. He doesn't actually test Google prototypes at home either. In Los Altos Hills, California, he lives in a nearly 10,000 square foot mansion that sits on slightly more than 3 acres of ground. Although critics have criticized the house as being modest for a man of Sundar's stature, we are confident that he and his family are happy with its magnificent amenities, including its infinity pool. Additionally, he occasionally plays soccer and cricket, two of his favorite pastimes. He has also stated that he only works out at night after getting home from work. He shares the house with his wife, Anjali Pachai, his two children, and a dog named Jeffrey. In 2015, Sundar made a vow to himself to reach home in time to tuck his kids in by himself every night. Sundar goes to sleep after finishing his tasks for the day. And that's all for today's video. What can you say about Sundar Pichai's daily routines? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy everything luxurious, check out our other videos. And if you like them, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Until our next video. See you then.